Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew in a 12 December post-COP28 press conference defended the participation of the government of St. Kitts and Nevis in the Dubai-hosted Climate Change Global Conference. In his opening statement, he commented on circulating criticism of the cost to the Treasury of sending the national delegation to COP28. The Prime Minister expressed the view that it was essential that St. Kitts and Nevis be present at the forum to be involved in climate change discussions, describing the situation as an existential threat to small island states including St. Kitts and Nevis. Our country, these small island states, especially in the Caribbean, we are facing the fact of whether we can continue to exist or not. That is how serious and critical the matter is. I am not going to mix or mince words when it comes to that. And that is why it is important that each year, especially the countries that have been affected the most and those countries that had very little to do with the climate change, that we have to show up and show up in our numbers and let our voices be bigger than the space we occupy on the earth because we are being affected most. Hence, we had to work with a solid team to this meeting this year. And of course, you can see that we had a large contingent. But I want to set some things clear. That, that large contingent was extremely necessary for us to make the necessary arguments, for us to put forward our own positions so that we could be very clearly understood. The beginning, that and what we did here was in... Um, collaboration with others so that people do not think anyway that we spent a lot of money to take a large contingent to, to, to COP and that it caused the country of St. Kitts and Nevis significant amount of money. That is not so. As a matter of fact, the COP was basically sponsored and I want to thank those who participated. The Prime Minister disclosed a list of global institutions and organizations, as well as the government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, as sponsors for their trip to the Dubai conference. Then, by reporting for SK Newsline.